All right, so in our last video, we were finding eigenvalues. Um, now, we found our two eigenvalues, 5 or negative 2. So our matrix times uh, some eigenvector, which we don't know, will be equal to 5 or negative 2 times the same eigenvector. So to, in this one, we're going to find whatever that question mark eigenvector is. So I can take this now, and I can say that A, V will be equal to, uh, let's go with the first one, 5 times V. Now, the A value in this case is 1, 6, 2, 2 as a vector. And the V is going to be some unknown uh, 2 by 1. So A, B. And that's going to be equal to 5 times some unknown A, B. All right, so... If I perform uh, some matrix multiplication on the left here, and just think about what the matrix multiplication would give you. It would give you 1 times A plus 6 times B, that's our first element, and then it would give 2 times A and 2 times B, and that will be our second element. So it's going to give us a uh, 1 by 2 matrix, a column matrix. Um, let's deal with just the first element. What would the first element be that it would give us on the left, and what is the first element it would give us on the right? Uh, so 1 times A is A, 6 times B is uh, 6B. And the first element it will give me on the right is 5 times A. Alright, so now I can sort of rearrange that, and I can say that uh, 6B is equal to 4A, and I can say that B is equal to, uh, it's going to be 2A over 3. All right, that doesn't look very uh, satisfying, I suppose. Uh, but what it allows us to do is say that the eigenvector here is of the form A two A over three. All right, so with an eigenvalue of five, we have an eigenvector of the form A. 2a over 3. Now, of course, we had two answers, 5 or negative 2. So we can say that a eigenvector equals a lambda of negative 2 v. And we can go through our same procedure here. 1, 6, 2, 2. a, b is going to be equal to negative 2 uh, a, B. This pen starting to annoy me. So again, we consider the first element where we multiply on the left and where we multiply on the right. So that's going to be 1 times A uh, plus 6 times B. And the first element on the right is just going to be negative 2A. And then we can rearrange this in terms of B. So that'll be negative 3A, B, all over 6, we can just rewrite that as b equals uh, negative a over 2. Now we've got another relationship for b, so we can finish this by saying that our eigenvector would be a negative a over 2. Alright, so there's our two eigenvectors here. Uh, now those that's that's the end of this thing. So what we're really saying is that if we have a matrix one six two two, there are going to be some eigenvalues, only two of them, five or negative two. But there are an infinite number of eigenvectors that we can have as long as they take the form of a two a over three. So that could be one and that could be two over three, or that could be two and that could be four over three, or that could be three and that could be uh, two. Or they can take the value a, uh, negative a over 2. So an infinite number of eigenvectors there as well. Uh, it's eigenvectors, eigenvalues, how to find eigenvectors.